Dear friends, I'm glad to announce that as of 15th of January, we are opening a new office of Globsec in Brussels. This is a new chapter for Globsec since this is the first office that we are opening abroad. Currently, we have 80 people working uh, at the Bratislava office from 12 nationalities, and we hope that our Brussels office will enhance our international uh, outreach and presence. We are sending a very skilled colleague to Brussels, Alexandra Martin, who has been spending the last year here with us uh, in Bratislava, and she was leading our strategic forums, including Globsec and Tatra Summit. The goal of um, uh, the Brussels office is to bring the Centre Europe closer to the debates on the future of Europe. We want to be part of the core of this debate. Second, uh, we want to enhance our cooperation with Western European think tanks, institutions, uh, governments uh, in Western Europe and Brussels-based uh, uh, institutions. Uh, and third, we want to bring a constructive voice of Centre Europe uh, to Brussels. In the upcoming years, uh, you will see more events, uh, more initiatives and more projects uh, uh, facilitated by Globsec in partnership with other think tanks in Brussels. And we hope uh, that uh, Bratislava and Brussels office will enhance uh, our international cooperation. Hello, everyone. I'm very pleased to share with you the good news from Bratislava abroad at the end of the year. As of mid-January, Globsec will open its first office abroad in Brussels. We aim to be closer to our friends and allies, closer to where crucial decisions are being taken. We are confident that our research, our initiatives and our projects will positively contribute to shaping the policy agenda within the European Union, within NATO, but also globally. We are also convinced that more ideas, more voices and more solutions need to come from Central and Eastern European countries. We aim to act as a hub to foster new corporations and initiatives, to explore new avenues to work with our transatlantic partners. There is a new decade ahead of us that will likely continue to be characterized by geopolitical shifts and challenges, turmoil and disruption. But there will also be opportunities, opportunities to address climate change, to tackle social inequalities, to use tech to make our societies more competitive, more resilient and more innovative. We need to continue to protect our human rights, open uh, borders and free trade. So see you in Brussels in a month. And I'm looking forward to working with all of you to achieve all these goals.